In today's video, I'll be comparing Rabi Wallet against MetaMask to find out which is the best crypto wallet. Now, this video is going to cover everything you need to know about both of these wallets. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you can find out which will be the best crypto wallet for you. Now, before I properly get started on this video, I do want to mention that Rabi will be doing an airdrop soon. And if you are looking to try out Rabi for yourself, I'll include an invitation link in the video description down below. And that will actually earn you some extra Rabi points and the more points you can earn, the bigger your airdrop will be. So to start with this comparison, let's compare the supported blockchains. You see, for Rabi Wallet, if you go into the bottom right and click on more, and then scroll down to integrated chains, it shows us all of the chains that are currently available on Rabi. However, as you might have noticed, there's no option to add a custom network. If you wanted to try out a brand new chain that just come out, what you'd actually have to do at this moment in time is wait for Rabi to support this blockchain. Whereas with MetaMask, they actually allow us to add custom blockchains. So if we go to the top left corner and click on the blockchain, we can actually go down to add network. And from there, we can actually add a network manually. And from here, we can type in the network information. From there, we can go ahead and click save. And we can now trade on this brand new blockchain, even if MetaMask doesn't officially support it. As you can see here, these ones without an icon are ones that I've added myself and tried out. So this is a huge advantage for MetaMask in my opinion. However, I'm sure Rabi will be releasing something like this soon. So now onto security. Now, as you can see here with Rabi, when you go to make a transaction, you actually get a ton more information than you would with MetaMask. They give you simulation results to tell you what your transaction will end up like. And they also give you warnings for sites which you've never traded or connected your wallet to before. Now, as you can see here, it tells me that I have interacted before with Uniswap. However, if I hadn't interacted with Uniswap before, it would actually give me a warning and it would tell me that. And this can be a great way to avoid scams. I really like how they simplify all this information and they make it really easy to read, even if you're not very experienced with crypto. Now, on the other hand, if we use our MetaMask wallet and make a swap here, you'll see that the information is kind of confusing and it's kind of hard to read. Now, there's not nearly as much information in MetaMask as there is in Rabi. And in terms of security, MetaMask only really offers basic security, which when you're dealing with crypto isn't really ideal. So in terms of security, Rabi Wallet definitely wins this round, and it seems like they actually prioritize security with the features that I just mentioned. So next up is the user interface and user experience. Now, in my opinion, Rabi Wallet also wins this round because it's a streamlined, user-friendly interface, which is designed specifically for DeFi interactions. They have this main section where they show your portfolio as well as your wallet. However, underneath you have all these other important buttons which we can click, and I just really like how this is packaged. Whereas if we open up MetaMask, it's kind of confusing and it looks really outdated. I mean, it does serve the purpose. However, if we're comparing the two, I would definitely rather use Rabi. And in fact, I do use Rabi over MetaMask. And one of the main reasons I prefer Rabi is just the way it looks. So next up, we're talking about the airdrop. I'll actually include a link in the video description down below. And if you sign up for Rabi Wallet using my link, you'll actually earn some points which will go towards the Rabi Wallet airdrop which should be happening soon. Whereas for MetaMask, they've been around for a really long time and they still haven't even teased an airdrop. People in crypto like to be rewarded for being early to protocols and some people have been really loyal to MetaMask for ages and they haven't rewarded these people with an airdrop and I guess a ton of people got sick of that and made the switch to Rabbit. So in conclusion, which is the better wallet? In my opinion, it has to be Rabi Wallet because the only downside Rabi has against MetaMask is not being able to add custom blockchains. However, this is a fairly simple thing to add to the wallet, so I'm sure Rabi will be doing this in no time. MetaMask has been out for a really long time, and they just failed to really update their wallet, and in my opinion, they haven't listened enough to user feedback. A lot of people have had tons of suggestions for MetaMask, and they just don't really implement any of those things. So I'm not surprised someone else decided to build a better wallet, and I'm glad they did, because I personally prefer using Rabi, and I also like that it keeps me safe when I'm making my transactions because there are tons of scams you have to avoid in crypto and Rabi make it really easy to spot them now. So this has been my video comparing MetaMask against Rabi Wallet. Hopefully now that you've watched this video, you understand which is the better wallet. And as I mentioned earlier, if you want to earn some points for the Rabi Wallet airdrop, I'll actually include a link in the video description down below, which will allow you to sign up. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.